Shushmit Sen is the founder of Indian Ocean and the Shushmit Sen Chronicles. His guitar playing has been compared to the likes of Jerry Garcia and believe it or not, John McLaughlin. Let's find out the man behind the music and of course the music. I am Suhail Banerjee and you're watching Beat Street only on City First. I managed to catch up with the maestro before and after one of his concerts in Mumbai. Tired and busy as he was, he still agreed to talk to us. The journey has been nice and steady, good, lots of... Uh, uh, positive um, aspects to it and um, uh, it's still carrying on. Shushmit's journey from Delhi's Mandir Marg, teaching himself the guitar, forming Indian Ocean and eventually becoming one of the foremost musicians of our times is legendary. The question is how could I actually play those compositions without even knowing the basics? So this is where I think feel comes in. And to be able to feel uh, music is the most important thing. Shushmit insists that expression, musical or otherwise, does not have a form, structure or genre. Probably this is what gives his music such a beautiful edge. On one hand, it reminds me of jazz and on the other, of classical and folk tunes. And sometimes, it even reminds me of the music and cinema of Satyajit Ray. But how exactly did Shushmit develop this inimitable style of his and who? are his influences. The style evolved uh, mainly because at a pretty early age, uh, not as when people say, you know, we, they start started performing or playing a particular instrument at the age of three. It did not happen with me like that. Soon after, I was introduced to Indian classical music, which, which really took me to a completely different depth of expression. And uh, that's what changed my style. I tried to uh, simulate that, that meditative quality. So what I realized is that if you pick a certain set of notes and uh, you just improvise on that, slowly, slowly. And suppose I pick up these notes, okay. and you play it slowly, it will build a mood of its own, okay. If uh, any sitar player has actually influenced me the most, has been Nikhil Manerji. Okay, um, uh, uh, but I do have a lot of respect for uh, Ravi Shankar for what he did to Indian uh, classical music or Indian music and taking it across the globe. So, uh, but as, as far as uh, uh, playing is concerned, the purity and the poise that I see in, a, in Ali Akbar Khan or Nikhil Banerjee, I think, for me, for me, I'm no judge, I'm not going to say who's better than who, 
but um, uh, it 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 was far greater and far more ins inspirational for me. that as an individual you also keep composing stuff which does not become a part of Indian Ocean. So um, uh, uh, I, uh, the album that I uh, came up with last year, um, it, uh, it has compositions which uh, go back to even pre-Indian Ocean days. So there has been a lot of compositions and when, when a composition gets formed, it's not like painting that you paint it and show it to people, right? You have to have to record it. And if you do not, th these ideas kind of corrode you from inside. In 2011, Shushmit released his first solo album, The Depths of the Ocean. It features musicians as disparate as Oshim Chakraborty, Shubha Mudgal, Nitin Malik and Papon. Following the success of this album, Shushmit Sen formed the Shushmit Sen Chronicles, a five-member band, and began touring India. These people are not only brilliant musicians, okay, be it Shubha, Papon, even Oshim is there, Nitin Malik. They are amazingly beautiful people and um, I need not even talk about them because everybody knows about them. What I would like to talk about are the people who are not so known to the rest of the crowd. Are the other youngsters who came in uh, to collaborate with me in the album as well as in uh, Chronicles. You know, there's, uh, there was Clarence Gonzalez uh, on bass, there was uh, even Brendan Denfer in one, uh, uh, then uh, Nikhil Vasudevan. Uh, there was uh, Gyan Singh on Tabla. Look, these people are also, um, uh, at this point of time, we, I've got two singers singing in uh, uh, Sushpit Sen Chronicles. One is Amit Sharma and the other person is uh, Sudhir Khari. These people, the best part about it is that they are not only brilliant musicians, they are beautiful people. And that's what I think makes a band. And that's what takes it forward. <laughs> In his new album, The Depths of the Ocean, among other songs is a long one-take solo piece called The Tribute. This, he says, is a tribute to all his musical influences. And indeed, what a tribute it is! Every time I have heard Shushmit play this piece live, he has given it a new direction, often adding a new set of notes in the process. The Tribute flows like a giant river with numerous mountain streams falling into it. I requested Shushmit to play the tribute for us exclusively.
Myself, I can say that, well, um, do whatever you want to do and not what the society asks you to do because um, developing an indi individuality is, uh, I think, one of the most important things in life.